Hi folks, this is Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC. You can reach me at my office at 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663 or on the web at www.bowenboston.com and that's www.bowenboston.com. All right, this is uh, 40 West Tremlett Street in Dorchester. It's a two-family property. It was built in 2006. West Tremlett Street is a one-way uh, one street coming off of um, Washington Street. That's uh, Codman Square up there. Uh, you can see that they built a few other new properties on this street, uh, a few of them next door. Uh, you know, that one there, and then there's some land uh, next to that, which is probably going to be built on in the next few years here. So... Uh, Let's go take a look at, the, uh, at this property. This is a bank-owned property. Uh, they did a nice job uh, on this property when they built it in 2006, but the people who uh, lived here screwed it all up. Uh, I mean, it's not horribly screwed up, but it's screwed up enough that it looks like crap. So this is your first floor apartment, and well, I guess might as well just, we're already looking at the bathroom here, so might as well just take a look at it, okay? So this, this is your bathroom on the first floor that's disgustingly dirty. Uh, so this is your bathroom on the first floor. This is your living area, okay, your living room. And this is probably your uh, little dining area that I'm standing in right now. Uh, to the left is a one bed, uh, uh, is a bedroom, good sized bedroom actually. These carpets throughout the house are all nasty. I mean, I guess you could get them cleaned, but they could really use, um, they could really be replaced really. House need the interior of the house needs to be painted. It's something that uh, a homeowner can do themselves, though. Really, here's your uh, kitchen on the first floor. Okay, uh, there's no refrigerator. That's fine. Uh, no dishwasher on the first floor here either. It's gas cooking. All right. Uh, it looks like the constable came and kicked these people out because <sighs> there's uh, stuff laying around this this uh, building all over the place. All right, so uh, here's your middle bedroom. There's actually three bedrooms on the first floor. Uh, and then we're going to go to the rear of the house here, and here's your third bedroom. All right, so if you need bedrooms, pretty good closet space as well here. So if you need bedrooms, there's plenty of them here, okay? Uh, that's the back door that we are not going to go out. All right, so let's go take a look downstairs in the basement before we go upstairs to the... Uh, second floor apartment, okay? A little dark down here. Some lights work right now, some don't, so. Uh, as we walk down, you can see right there is your water meter, City of Boston water meter, all right? It's the front of the house here, hot water, cold water, that's for your, wash, uh, your washing machine. Here's your dryer hookup. Here is, geez, it looks like another washing machine hookup here, actually, uh, which is surprising, because there's actually a washer and dryer hookup upstairs in the second floor apartment. It's actually, well, the, the washer hook, the hookup is actually on the third floor. Uh, here's your heating system for the first floor. You know, it's gas heating system, forced hot air. Nice system, all right? There's your door going out to the back of the uh, property, okay? Here are your hot water heaters. Uh, those are gas as well, okay? All right, they're in good shape. Well, I don't want to. Well, hold on. They look like they're in good shape. <laughs> Get myself in trouble. Here's an electrical panel down here. Might as well open it up while we're down here. And that's what we got. <laughs> Pump and the common receptacles. All right. So let's go upstairs to the... Uh, let's go upstairs to the... Second floor and third floor bi level apartment. All right. You can see that these people moved out in a hurry. It's crap laying everywhere. Here's your living room. Front of the second floor apartment here. It needs to be painted up here. All right. Right hand side bedroom here, all right? Your heating system for this unit is in the bedroom on the uh, right-hand side. Here's your closet for the bedroom right next to it as well, okay? Uh, dining area here, 
I don't know what these people were doing, but they were out of here quickly. All right, here's your kitchen. They took the stove, they took the dishwasher. You know, those will have to be replaced. No refrigerator here either. They left the uh, microwave though. That was wonderful of them. All right. Full bath here. I mean, the house really is in pretty decent shape, actually, if you really think about it. All right. Just get rid of all this trash. Paint the walls. Maybe refinish the floors if you want. Replace uh, some appliances. And you really have a pretty nice place, really. All right, we're up on the third floor here now. This is probably the master bedroom, I would say. Well, we'll see. Let's go take a look at the other bedrooms as well. All right, some mold here in the corner. Nothing to get in a tizzy about. You can always remove that. Some in the uh, window sill as well here. You know, let's get some kills. Some mold here in this corner as well. You know, sometimes you get mold in this window sill as well. Sometimes you get this mold. Actually, it's in all the window sills. Sometimes you get this mold when these houses are closed up. Nobody's living here in a while. There's no, there's no ventilation. So that uh, tends to happen. All right, so we're on the right-hand side. Jesus has a lot of bedrooms. You know, all this crap in here. All right, so... You know, oh boy, they left quick, these people. All right, and here is... Well, maybe this is the master, actually. It, it could be either one. All right, so we're in the rear of the, the, the building here on the third floor. Just a bunch of crap everywhere. I don't know how these people lived like this. Mold in the back of that, uh, mold in the back of that uh, closet there, okay? And then you see some mold in that corner as well. So, and there's mold up there, all right? Nothing that some kills can't cure. All right, and then we're gonna look at the full bathroom here on the third floor. This has a washer and dryer hookup. See, there's a washer hookup, there's the dryer hookup, there's the vent to the outside. And uh, you get your toilet, disgusting. I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> I'm not gonna show you the entire toilet. Full bath. Here's your vanity. Okay. All right. So, little uh, water problem there. That can be fixed easily. As a homeowner, that's what you're gonna have to do anyway. You're gonna have to do a bunch of fixing. All right. So, it would take a little while to get this property squared away, but you know, a few weeks. You're just gonna be in here every day. Uh, doing the work. We're gonna go up to the back here actually, take a look at the back yard. A little bit more of the exterior. So, walking back through the first floor apartment here. First floor apartment's not huge, but it's fine. All right. So this is the back of the house. There's plenty of parking. No real yard though, they, uh, they didn't really leave any grass, but you got plenty of parking. All right, so there's the back of the house. You know, it's in pretty nice shape. So let's walk around this side anyway. Take a look at this. There's your compressor for your central air. All right. I do only see one compressor. Here are your gas meters. Here are your three electrical meters. So you have two for the uh, units and then you have one for the common. And, uh, and that's it. All right, that's the, uh, that's the property here. This is uh, 40 West Tremlett Street in Dorchester. Uh, it's going for, uh, well, I hate to die, I don't hate. Prices always change, so I'm not going to tell you what it's going for. So anyway, uh, Jonathan Bowen with Jonathan Bowen Real Estate LLC, 617, uh, excuse me, 855-879-4663. Again, 855-879-4663. Or on the web at www.bowenboston.com. And that's www.bowenboston.com. All right, thanks for watching. I know it was a boring video. <laughs> what am I going to do? All right, thanks, guys. Bye.